Welcome to our daily Forex market analysis, and this is for trading on March the 10th, 2021. Just a quick disclaimer here before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business, so please be careful with your money. As usual, we'll start off by taking a look at our calendar here. Um, all right, so in terms of overall, what do we have in the markets? Um, the stimulus bill did uh, pass through the, uh, it got, got passed in the House today. Uh, so that is pretty much a done deal. Uh, President Biden will sign it tomorrow and then uh, we are um, basically, the money will be distributed. So uh, that is a really positive thing for the markets. And as a result of that, we did see the sentiment uh, turn for the stock markets and we have seen more of the positive sentiment in the markets and then we also we talked about bond markets yesterday the treasury yields have dropped so that's another reason we have seen a turn around we did talk about how they were stretched or the the moves were quite stretched um, and so there was a bit of a turnaround in there as well overall things are looking positive um, and coming up tomorrow here we have um, bank of canada rate statement so uh, it was Reserve Bank of Australia today, Bank of Canada coming up on Wednesday, ECB on Thursday. So back to back, um, we have uh, central bank statements. We also have the CPI numbers here for the US. Um, at this point, they're looking uh, positive. So if they are within, uh, within reason of these expectations, that should be positive here uh, for the US dollar. Uh, and that's pretty much it. We do have the um, crude oil inventories here. Um, oil, uh, if the inventories uh, decrease, then it will be good for the oil price. So we'll keep an eye on that. All right, so let's start off with Euro dollar here. Um, Euro did go up, it pulled back today. Now, something to keep in mind here, it pulled back. Um, however, the candle close is not um, very strong. It's not a bullish engulfing candle uh, by any means yet. So what we have to watch out for here would be um, if it holds below 1.1920, we're looking for a continuation to the downside here. So um, this may just be a pullback. So we'll watch out for 1.1920. If it holds below, looking for that continuation move to one point. 1800. So right now, bias is neutral here to bearish. And as long as it stays below, we're looking for another drop. So neutral to bearish bias there. Euro dollar, sorry, pound dollar here. Pound did pull back and we have a nice, uh, nice solid candle close here. So for this one here, this one could go in either direction. So this is where we are um, right now. Price is kind of in this, in the middle of this range. It doesn't really um, it hasn't uh, it, it hasn't really closed above this level. It did go higher, and this will be the same thing here. If it holds below 1.3920, this one could become range bound here. We could see a move back towards 1.3785. Uh, now, another option that we have, uh, or another scenario to bear in mind here, would be this may pull back down here and then go up further. So that could happen back towards the top of the range here. At this point, I'm neutral, basically looking for um, a move within this range between 1.40 and 1.3785. The defining point really would be 1.3900. If it continues to hold uh, below this level, then this could go sideways here. So neutral bias here for pound dollar. Aussie dollar here, this one also moved up. So it is still in this range. It hasn't broken through the support resistance level yet. So I am neutral on this, even though we did have this big um, bullish move here, but it hasn't really gone through this resistance. It hasn't held above this. So at this point, I'm looking for a sideways move here. Now, should it go through the resistance, then this becomes bullish and we'd be looking for the next level higher. So until then, this is neutral and I'd be looking for more of a sideways move, but watch out for that breakout. If it does break out, then this is quite bullish then. New Zealand dollar, same story here. Uh, there was a lot of positive sentiment with passing of the stimulus bill and whatnot, um, but again, that sentiment can be short-lived. So bear that in mind. It's one of those 
uh, buy the rumors, sell the, uh, sell the news. So after the positive sentiment, we can get a decline again. Um, and also there's some concerns about China um, maybe uh, tightening the monetary policy, although that may actually not happen, uh, which would be positive for the stock markets. But um, either way, watch out for the sentiment. I think right now, sentiment is a little volatile right now and we don't have a true direction yet. So in this case, what I'm looking for here would be this support resistance level at one point, uh, sorry, 0 0.7190. If it holds below here, like it's holding below, then I'm looking for price to go back into the towards the bottom of the range here, 0 0.7100. So mm -hmm. right now, neutral bias. If let's say it does go through, then again, just like Aussie dollar, we'll be looking for the next level. But until then, this is still range bound. So in this case, neutral bias for New Zealand dollar as well. Dollar cat here, this is still stuck in a range. It's sitting in this range. It has been testing the high and the low of the range, uh, but it hasn't really picked a direction yet. So this is where we see the price has been stuck here for ages. And essentially I'm still looking for a range bound move. Uh, we have to wait till price actually breaks out of this range. Uh, right now looking for a move between 1.27 and 1.2585 level here. So neutral bias for dollar cat as well. All right, let's take a look at our commodities here, starting off with silver. Uh, nice bounce up for silver here. However, it is into resistance and this is an important support resistance level. Price struggled at this level a number of times before it passed through. So we could see a similar struggle on the other side as well. If it holds below, then we're looking for a range bound move back towards 24.85. Now, once we see a break though, should it go through, then of course we have a lot of room to the upside here. Next target then is 26.85. So neutral bias for the time being, once it crosses over, it turns bullish then. Gold here, gold also turned around um, and with all the positive sentiment here. So in this case, we do have a bullish candle close, but again, we are into this resistance level. So if price holds below here, below 1721, we're looking for a move back down towards 1680. So neutral bias. Once it goes through though, then we have the next target of the 1741 level here. So back into our support area right over here. Uh, our support resistance area, I should say 1741, and then it could continue on. So for now, neutral bias. And again, once it turns, once it goes through this resistance, then it becomes bullish and we'll set our next levels then. Oil here, oil looking bearish here. We had a nice bearish candle close. It uh, pulled back right into the 66, well, it didn't quite reach 66, 65.90. Now, again, we have a nice bearish candle close. Just keep in mind, it is into support. So we need to see a break here through the support for a continuation here. So uh, next target here is 62.770 and then, or 62.50. And then we are looking at 61.70. So bearish bias here for oil. Copper here, copper also looking bearish. Now it is struggling with support here. This is uh, two days in a row, it hasn't broken through. So at this point, looking for a bit of a pullback and then a drop back towards 3.85. Uh, so bias is bearish. I would be careful with the support though. If it doesn't go through 3.95, if it holds above, then it can go back up, uh, back into this range here. So it's a little range bound here. So neutral to bearish bias here for copper. Target is 3.85. Uh, Bitcoin here, Bitcoin went up as, um, as we talked about this. So it is into resistance right now, went all the way into 55,000, uh, but looks like it's struggling now. And this is something to watch out for. If it holds below 55, we could see a move back down again. So right now bias is neutral. It is looking a little volatile right now. Yeah, it's looking a bit volatile. So we'll watch out for that. If it holds below 55, we are looking for a move lower. First target will be 52,500 and then back into the support levels towards 50,000. 
Um, all right, Equ equities here, stock market went up, all that positive um, stuff around stimulus bill getting passed. Now we do need to be careful here. It didn't hold above the support resistance level at 3880. If it holds below, we're looking for a move back towards 3800. So bias here is neutral. We do have a nice bullish candle close. It is not a done deal though. Once it passes through, then it becomes bullish and will target the higher levels. So until then, neutral bias here for S&P 500. NASDAQ here, big move up in NASDAQ. Uh, but if you take a look here, it is still range bound. It's just all it has done over the last few days has been back and forth. So right now, still in that range, still neutral. If it goes through this resistance at 12,850, then it turns bullish and we will target uh, the next level then at 13,000. Uh, 13,100 ish area. But until then, if it holds below 12,850, then still neutral here. So neutral bias for NASDAQ. And then Dow Jones, nice bearish pin bar here. As we can see, third time, this is the third time price tested the high, couldn't hold. And now we have a bearish candle close. So looking for a drop towards 31,665. Mm -hmm and then 31,330, so bearish bias here for DAX. And, um, sorry, not DAX, uh, Dow Jones. DAX here looking quite bullish. Yesterday we did have that nice bullish candle close. So we have seen the follow through, um, still looking bullish here. And uh, next target here is 14, is uh, 14,500 and then 14,600. So bullish bias here for DAX. And FTSE here went up all the way into the resistance, but now we are into some important resistance level here, 67.85, so we could see a turnaround and move back into the range 65.50. So this one is still neutral again, it's still range bound overall. Uh, so bias is neutral, but watch out for that move back into the range here. So in this case, we are looking at first target would be 6660 and then 6630. So neutral to bearish bias for FTSE. And Nikkei here, Nikkei also looking quite choppy. Um, we have seen back and forth moves here right now. I would say neutral, still stuck in this range here, hasn't really um, gone through it. If it holds here below 29,300, looking for a move uh, lower then. But once it breaks through this resistance, then it becomes bullish and will target these higher levels at 29,850 and then 30,000. So bias here is neutral till it crosses over, then it turns bullish. All right, so that's it for today. You guys have a wonderful trading day and I'll be back again tomorrow. Bye for now.